We're going to look at some common questions we get asked about on the Tylo steam generators. This is a, a new 6VA and we've just taken the ends off and taken the cover off. In this end we've got the electrical equipment, but the overheat thermostat at the top, which can click out. The normal causes for that one coming out are calcium buildup in the tank. Then the control PCB. You don't really get many problems with this one except sometimes this little overheat sensor on the circuit card. This one gets pushed in with the thermostat file and sometimes if these wires short out internally it will keep the inlet solenoid open full all the time and you get water coming out the steam head. The best thing to try is to just pull it off and disconnect it and see if that closes the solenoid and if it does you know straight away that that's the, the problem. They are easily replaceable. On the bottom we have the connector strip for the control panel which could be H1 or the CC50 or the EC50. At the bottom we have the main incoming terminals and the control terminals for the lighting, steam fresh and steam clean. Underneath is a rotary isolator. This rotary isolator is really meant for maintenance purposes or if you're going to leave the unit for a long time then you turn it off. It's not actually meant to isolate the steamer when it's working. You should control it by the control panel always and just use this one to isolate it for working on it. That can cause problems if it's used as an on-off switch. The overheat stat, as we say, normally cuts out with calcium. The relays don't give many problems. And the little switches in the middle are for the cleaning cycle. And this one is set with number two on, which is a standard way of setting them. And that gives us a clean every four hours. When the unit's first powered up from the mains, it will do a self-clean function where it empties and fills three times before you can use it. After you've done that, this will then take over and every four hours it will give it an automatic clean. At the other end, we have the level tube with the level probes, the little breather tube which is very important, and the inlet and outlet solenoid valves. One thing to watch for if you get calcium buildup in the tank is that this little tube can get blocked. And if this one's blocked, then no water can get in this tube, the probes won't see any level, and you'll get continuous water flow through the heater. So if you are, are having those problems, just check that pipe. The inlet solenoid is very rarely goes wrong, as with the outlet solenoid. Sometimes these little rubber bungs, which go in and out, can again get calcium build up behind them. They'll force it open a little bit, and you'll get a continuous dribble of water out of the drain. That's some of the things we come across with questions. If there's anything else we can help you with, please don't hesitate to contact us by phone or email.